I'm excited to be joined today by Ronnie Hermansen, uh, CEO of Genetic Analysis, a Norwegian diagno diagnostics company uh, that is focused on the gut microbioma. Uh, the company is gearing up for an IPO on the uh, Spotlight stock market, uh, and I'm excited to be joined by uh, Ronnie today. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, just to start out, could you give us just a brief overview of the company, a uh, very short summary? Mm. Uh, yes, uh, GA was founded all the way back in 2008, so we are a pioneer in this area. We are developing um, standardized diagnostic solutions for the microbiome area. And we have products on the market today, and we also have an exciting pipeline of new products. So now it's all about commercializing what we have. Uh, we are a small company, 22 people, based in Oslo. So it's pretty much us, I think. Yeah, great. <laughs> thanks, thanks for that intro. Um, so how does your standardized diagnostic uh, platform differ from the current uh, research-based uh, tools in the microbiota field? Yeah, I would say it's one to two clear differences between us and the others in the market. We are using what we call a PDT approach, a predetermined target approach. Uh, which means that we have already, before um, we do the analysis, we know what we're looking for. We have decided that. So that's very standardized in the diagnostics world that you know what you are looking for. And uh, so that's very important. Uh, the uh, test results are automatically compared to a healthy, normal population. Secondly, it's C marked and fully validated. And third is that there is no further bioinformatics works needed. So as you, the results are there imminently, and since we have this standard population in the basics, in, as a base, you don't need to do any further calculation. So um, the other players out there are using more research-based tools, very uh, strong tools, but not so uh, good for the, the, the routine diagnostic settings, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, well, your pipeline uh, of uh, new biomarkers is within uh, irritable bowel syndrome. Um, uh, but the goal is to explore the potential within a number of large patient populations, uh, including type 2, type 2 diabetes, for example. Uh, could you elaborate on this a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yes. The pipeline today is very much um, driven by our internal research. And historically, we have been a gastro-related company, so we have been working a lot within IBS and IBD. Um, so that's the, the core focus for us, to develop an, uh, new markers in this segment. Uh, also, we have had focus on diabetes type 2, so that's also an internal driven project uh, that we are working on. But as of today, uh, we, we get a lot of attention, interest from academia, from pharma companies to do and look for other potential uh, biomarkers within other disease areas. That could be, for example, um, liver diseases, Nafla Nash, or it could be uh, cancer coming up as a very interesting area. Uh, and GA will, of course, happily also go into new areas if we see that there are revenues coming as a part of this collaboration, of course. But as of today, we mainly collaborate, uh, focus on the gastro area, typical gastro diseases. All right, uh, makes sense. Uh, well, uh, you, you have an aggressive uh, growth plan for the next uh, three years. Um, what are the main upcoming milestones uh, that you're um, in your market establishment? <laughs> yes, um, it's kind of two main milestones in the near future, and that is to convert customers that already do microbiome diagnostics on the more research-based tools into the GMA platform. And that is about, in the market today, in the EU and in US, we are talking about half a million tests, we think, that um, are run on these 
non-standardized platforms. Uh, we have about 15 to 20,000 of that market today and we will of course take a lot more market share. So that's signing up with these laboratory partners are important milestones for us. Then we will um, uh, sign up uh, with uh, pharma companies where we will explore to develop new markers that um, will help the pharma companies to to, to launch their microbiome altering drugs, but also, of course, then will fuel diagnostics revenues for us. So that is uh, the two major parts. But then, of course, it's also to, to uh, geographically grow our business into, for example, Asia. Uh, that's the, the main three uh, items that will support the growth going forward, I would say. Okay. Uh, a lot going on in that sense. Um, so, uh, speaking of growth, uh, what will primary, primarily drive growth in the microbiota area in the coming years? And uh, how do you adapt to this development? Mm -hmm. Two to three important factors, I think, is um, research is more and more focusing on the link between microbiome and um, how should I put it, uh, the diseases in many areas. So that is important, that drives the market. Um, and also, um, well, if you go back to the first thing, there is a word coming up, a buzzword now, called microbiome restoration. And that is very important because more and more research is showing that before you go into to advanced uh, surgery, for example, or even when you come on very tough cancer treatment, we see that patients that has a stable microbiota uh, respond much better on these treatments and get less side effects from, uh, from uh, advanced surgery, for example, mm -hmm. like infections and so on. So, um, it's a big focus now actually to measure your microbiota to see how you can restore it. So that will be a good good uh, basis for the GMA platform to take market share here. Um, the other growth, uh, as I said, is, uh, is coming more and more now from uh, pharma companies developing new drugs mm -hmm. that will alter your gut microbiome. And as I mentioned previously, these companies need diagnostics tools to select the patients, follow up the patients on the treatment, and you know maybe they have need to have a dose two, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, diagnostics and therapeutics goes hand in hand also in the microbiome, and and this market is really exploding, booming, whatever you call it. So yeah. very exciting. Yeah, very exciting indeed. Um, well, last question to, to finish off. Uh, you're now carrying out a share issue and uh, listing on the spotlight stock market, as I mentioned. Uh, why are these steps being taken right now and uh, what will they mean for the company? Hmm. Well, GA has the vision to become the preferred supplier of microbiome diagnostics platforms. And for us, it's very important now to list the company, we need capital. So as a part of this listing, we will raise capital. Uh, we need capital to grow the business going forward. And we also feel that the Swedish market is, 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 is more right for the company than, for example, in Norway. Uh, you have uh, today uh, uh, companies within this sector, you know, probiotics companies, others. So uh, for us, it's uh, a matter of attracting the right investors. It's also a matter to become more visible in the total market for GA, mm -hmm. so we uh, can benefit on that long term. Mm -hmm. And yeah. of course, the shares becomes more liquid for the shareholders. Absolutely. Right. Well, uh, thank you so much for answering the questions today. And uh, yeah, we wish you all the best uh, with the IPO and going forward. Thank you.